Hi and welcome to Edwards Motorhomes. I'm Tony and today I'd like to talk to you about this 2013 plated Death Left's Advantage T6511 coach build motorhome. It has all the quality and the finish you'd expect from a high-end German manufacturer. It's based on the 2.3 litre 150 brake horsepower 6-speed manual Fiat Ducato. It has a length of 6.98 metres and a height of 2.87 metres with a width of 2.33 metres. It was first registered on the 20th of June 2013 and has done 19,369 miles. It has three berths, four travel seats, making it a great combination of long distance tourer for two or a really roomy family motorhome. Let's take a look inside. In the cab we have all the equipment you would expect from a Deathless, such as cruise control, electric heated mirrors, CD and radio JVC media centre and a reverse camera. We also have cab climate control air conditioning, full cab blinds, traction plus, driver and passenger airbags and two good sized skylights above the cab. Both of these captain seats swivel to maximise the whole 6.98 metre footprint. The dinette has this adjustable table giving you plenty of space to entertain around. It also drops down to become the base of the third berth. Over on this side, we also have the TV prep. Now, the whole thing is finished off in a good quality upholstery, which really adds to the quality of the finish. The kitchen is well spaced out, giving you plenty of work surface space and good storage. We also have hobs, a sink, an oven and a three-way fridge freezer. Here we have the 12 volt control panel and the control panel for the Truma heating system which is a combined gas and electric unit. Below this we have the habitation door which has a fly screen and a bin. Something that a lot of manufacturers still manage to miss. In the bathroom we have a shower, we have some storage lockers, we have a wash basin and a cassette toilet. It also has this sliding wall, meaning that you don't have to get everything in the bathroom wet when you're having a shower. The T6511 has two single beds, which can be made into a large transverse double over good sized garage. The great thing is though is that they are low bunks so you don't have to climb up and down steps to get in and out of bed. Also there are two good sized wardrobes and lots of storage space. When we look around the exterior of the T6511 you can see that we have remote controlled cab locking, access to the garage that runs the full width of the motorhome and has access from both sides. We also have an awning, awning light, gas barbecue point, double glazed windows and an electric step into the habitation area. We also have a good sized gas locker, reversing sensors and a satellite dish on the roof, also with alloy wheels. There's also a good sized garage. There isn't much you couldn't store in here. This model comes incredibly well spec with features such as a Truma heating, alloy wheels, JVC media centre and an oven, just to name a few of the items. The real beauty of this motorhome though is the fact that it's only 3,500 kilograms and still gives you a payload of 420 kilograms, meaning you don't need a C1 licence. This is a van for touring or short trips. For a full list of features on this model, please refer to the specification list on our website or give us a call. It really is worth a view. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Welcome to Edwards Motors in Motorhomes. We're a family run business in Kempsey, Worcestershire with a large selection of new and used Mazdas, Kias, caravans in motorhomes. And we're a one stop shop for all your car and leisure vehicle needs. Let's take a look around the site.
look after you for all your service and habitation needs in our purpose-built car, caravan and motorhome service centres. If you're unlucky enough to require bodywork, again, we can look after you in our large body shop and spray booth, which is big enough to take a tag axle motorhome. So, if you're looking for a new or used car, caravan or motorhome, or if you require any service or repair work, why not come and see what we can do for you?